Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is our next problem. Problem having been chosen from the book Modern Physics by Crane. Okay. Modern Physics by Kenneth S. Crane. Okay. From today we are starting the topic of cosmology. Okay. Prior to this we have solved enough problems of relativity. Okay. Our course in BS Physics is usually combined course that is relativity and cosmology. Okay. So we have dealt with the relatively enough in our previous uh, videos, previous problems and now from this video we are going to start cosmology. Okay, this is the, uh, I think uh, this is perhaps the first video about cosmology. As usual we first come to its statement, okay, use Hubble's law to estimate the wavelength of the 590.0 nanometer nano standing for 10 to power minus 9 590.0 nanometer sodium line as observed emitted from galaxies whose distance from us is part A 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 6 light years and part B 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 9 light years. Okay, these students we know that 10 raised to the power 6 is called million or mega while 10 raised to the power 9 is called giga. Okay. Similarly 10 raised to the power minus 6 is called uh, micro while 10 raised to the power minus uh, 9 is called nano okay now dear students before solving uh, now we are moving to its uh, solution but before starting its solution in a formal manner we will take help from some snapshots uh, which will provide some basic ideology about the concepts involved in this problem okay so there are only two snapshots and after these two snapshots we will start our uh, um, yes uh, almost th third is also a snapshot so totally three snapshots are involved in this problem and uh, then we will solve our problem in a formal manner okay this problem has two parts a and b while part b is just uh, an extension of part a okay we will not have to work much for part b okay when we have solved problem a we will make minor changes in that uh, uh, solution uh, and we will get a uh, solution of part B okay so dear students first snapshot which is quite relevant to our solution is the definition of parsec what is parsec the parsec symbol PC is a unit of length used to measure the large distances to astronomical objects outside the solar system approximately equal to 3.26 light years okay this is a quite sufficient introduction about the term parsec we will deal with the mega parsec and mega you know mega means 10 raised to the power 6 okay mega million 
means 10 raised to the power 6. So mega parsec will be used and this is the definition and introduction of a parsec. In this definition, uh, the term light year is involved and now our next snapshot will be about light year. Actually dear students, what is light year? Light year light year is sometimes also denoted by c y that is c for light and l for year and y for year okay c y or l y that is l for light and y for year okay and how light year is calculated one year meaning <coughs> one year has 365 days because in after every four years uh, we we have to face a leap year which is of 366 days so we use uh, number 365.25 okay point two five uh, is usually used in order to uh, adjust uh, leap year so 365.25 into 24 that is hours into 60 that is minute into 60 seconds okay these seconds multiplied by c that is speed of light 2.998 are approximately 3.0 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second okay so from here second will be cancelled with second and our our answer will be become in meter and uh, then we can convert that uh, meter into kilometer okay so anyhow now we move to light here what is light here light here a light here alternatively spelled light here l y is a unit of length used to express astronomical, astronomical distances and is equal to exactly 94607304725808 kilometer okay so as i have already explained that if we multiply 365.25 with 24 then with 30, uh, then with 60 then with 60 then with 3 then with 10 raised to the power 8 so almost uh, this uh, number will be obtained okay anyhow now we start our part a okay part a part a now we first we once again move to our statement okay in statement for part a d is given as 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 6 light year while for part b distance d is given as 1.0 into 9 raised 9 uh, into uh, 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 9 light years okay so for part a distance is 1 mega light year okay distance is 1 mega light year distance is 1 ma mega light year okay distance is 1 mega light year that is 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 6 light year <coughs> and we know that we know in the de in the definition of parsec that one parsec is equal to 3.26 light years okay so it means if we divide that quantity by 3.26 then instead of light year we will get parsec okay so 1 million light year divided by 3.26 then it will be converted into parsec so when we simplify it it will become 0 0.307 into 10 raised to the power 6 parsec 
and we know that 10 raised to the power 6 is mega so it, it, it will become mega parsec and hence our answer will become our d will alternatively become equal to 0 0.306 0 0.307 mega parsec mpc okay m for mega and pc for parsec mega parsec okay now we move forward okay students now now next portion is also about snapshot in which we are going to um, define Hubble law and Hubble parameter okay Hubble law in order to Hubble law, uh, define Hubble law Hubble parameter we will start our uh, uh, we will explain our expression in similar wording that the proportionality between the speed of the galaxy V and its distance d is known as Hubble's law v equal to h naught d the proportionality constant h naught is known as the Hubble parameter and h naught is equal to 72 kilometer per second divided by 1 mega parsec okay we have dealt with the mega parsec in detail in previous part of this problem okay the uncertainty in this value is on the order of plus minus four percent okay this is Hubble's law and this is Hubble parameter okay mm. we need not to explain these two terms further I I think it is quite self-explanatory okay now using Hubble's law using Hubble's law which is this v equal to h naught d okay using Hubble's law v equal to h naught d equal to h naught h naught is this 72 kilometer per second over mega parsec into d d is 0 0.307 mega parsec okay dear students quite clearly mega parsec will be cancelled with mega parsec and our answer will become uh, will become when we, we uh, convert 72 kilometer into meter then it will become 72,000 uh, when multiplied with 0 0.307 it will become 22,104 uh, meter per second okay because we have converted kilometer into meter and this second will be uh, will still remain unchanged okay so so v becomes equal to v becomes equal to this and uh, next is just a settlement or adjustment okay our our this portion becomes only becomes equal to this okay 22,104 meter per second next we have made a settlement or adjustment that we have multiplied and divided it by C okay in this way there will be no change in our answer okay the only difference is that in the enumerator we are using c while in the denominator we are using its alternate value in terms of meter per second okay here enumerator and denominator are exactly equal and this portion will become equal to one that is unity but actually we are going to express this v in terms of speed of light that is why uh, we have made this uh, arrangement okay so after simplification our v will become equal to 7.37 into 10 raised to the power of minus 5 c okay because this c will remain unchanged 
and this meter per second will be cancelled with meter per second and hence v has become finally equal to this okay quite simple nothing uh, explainable okay dear students now now next portion may also be treated as a snapshot okay actually we see that according to relativistic doppler shift lambda not is equal to lambda or in other words we can see that lambda not over lambda is equal to 1 plus v over c over 1 minus v over c under root is equal to lambda into 1 plus v over c over 1 minus v square over c square then this is just rearrangement of this okay rearrangement of this uh, where v represents the relative velocity that means the source of the light and the observer here lambda dash is the wavelength we measure on earth and lambda is the wavelength emitted by the moving star or galaxy in its own rest frame okay So what we have done, we have actually reshaped relativistic Doppler shift, relativistic Doppler effect in this way. Okay, now using lambda da dash is equal to lambda into 1 plus v over c over 1 minus v over c, this portion. Okay, using lambda, da lambda dash equal to lambda 1 plus v over c over 1 minus v over c. Here, dear students, lambda naught is provided in the statement. Whether we should go, uh, no, no, sorry, sorry. We are going to find out lambda dash while lambda is provided in the statement, okay? Whether we should go back to statement or not. Use Hubble law to estimate the wavelength of the 590 nanometer sodium light as observed omitted from galaxies whose distances from us is this and this. Okay, so this wavelength, this is lambda and we are now going to find out lambda dash. Okay. lambda yes yeah now now in this expression we will use lambda equal to 590.0 nanometer as provided in the statement moreover we have found the value of v in the previous part of this problem which was 7.7 7.37 7 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 okay dear students moreover <coughs> E will be cancelled okay actually 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 dear students because v is in terms of c okay v is in terms of c c is being multiplied with v c is being multiplied with v 1 plus this into 10 raised to the power minus 5 c over c so c will be cancelled with c both in the enumerator and denominator okay so it will become 590.0 nanometer into this will become this 1.0000737 and it will become 0 0.99999 actually dear students this 10 raised to the power minus 5 will be divided on it and this factor will become in 0 0.0000 okay so it will be added in one and we will get this and uh, here it is be, be because being um, subtracted from this so, so denominator will become less than one okay and numerator is slightly greater than unity and the denominator is slightly less than unity 
so the result of the cumulative result of these two figures will again become a unity okay because there is a minor difference in these two and the numerator is greater than denominator so its result becomes equal to 1 and hence here lambda dash also becomes equal to 590.0 nanometer what is the result that lambda dash and lambda have become exactly equal because here a numerator and denominator are very 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 close to each other and moreover a numerator is slightly greater than denominator okay so this is the answer uh, of uh, uh, first part now we move to part b in uh, in this uh, part in place of 10 is to the power 6 10 is to the power 9 that is giga has been used here we will again divide it by 3.26 and this uh, light year will be converted into parsec uh, and this uh, the difference is that dear students in part a there uh, here uh, answer was 0 0.307 but here because 10 raised to the power 9 is involved so here in place of 0 0.307 0 0.307 it will become 307 okay 307 into 10 raised to the power 6 parsec this will become mega parsec and uh, here d will become 307 mega parsec okay in part a d was 0 0.307 mega parsec but in part b d is 307 mega parsec okay now next part again same as in part a using hubble's law b equal to this 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 here mega parsec will be cancelled with mega parsec and hence our v will become 7.37 into 10 raised to the power of minus 2c okay because dear students here so when we will shift decimal two stages ahead then we will have have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 2 okay anyhow we move forward using lambda dash equal to lambda 1 plus this over 1 minus this 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 this, this, this. okay here uh, the situation is that uh, in the enumerator and denominator difference has increased okay in part a in the enumerator and deno denominator within the uh, under root uh, was uh, less they were nearly close to each other so a cumulative effect of these two figures became one that is unity but here difference has increased due to which the cumulative effect of these two figures within the uh, under root sign has become equal to 1.08 okay here in place of one we have got 1.08 so when 1.08 will be multiplied with 590.0 nanometer then our lambda dash will not become equal to 590.0 nanometer as in part a rather it will become 637.2 nanometer okay this is the difference in part a and part b because in part a a numerator and denominator within the uh, under root sign were close to each other and their cum cumulative effect was unity but here cumulative effect is 1.08 and due to which lambda dash has become equal to 637.2 nanometer and this is the end of our problem this is the end of our video till next video allah hafiz